told me to be careful with bad boys. And Spencer falls right under that definition, except he's not all that bad. At heart, I think he's just lost. Mm -hmm. It says every woman in defense of a dysfunctional relationship with a bad boy. Mom. Trina, I was at the hospital that night when Ava's car was burned. And I sat with her afterwards. And <laughs> Ava couldn't stop shaking. And to leave Kiki's ID badge near the car? That's just cruel. I, I... Spencer didn't do it. I don't even think it was his idea. <sighs> you certainly seem determined to let him off the hook. I don't deny he's made some seriously messed up choices. Anyone who asked you to cover for them isn't really your friend. You remember what Maya Angelou said, when someone shows you who they are. Believe them. Right. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this earlier, Mom. There's just been a lot going on. Right. Even though you'll always be my baby, you're a young woman now. And you're entitled to privacy. But I can proudly say that you've always, always had a good head on your shoulders. Only so was devastating. Joss and I had this code, sisters before misters. And I feel like I'm breaking it with Ava. I mean, she's my friend too. I feel really bad about keeping Spencer secret about being in town all those weeks, but after everything that happened, I feel like it's too late to say anything. What do you think? Well, the fact that you feel bad, I should tell you something. Especially now that you know the damage that secrets can cause. So, what are you gonna do? I think I'm gonna skip breakfast. Rain check? Of course. Yeah, no, I, I want you to do what you gotta do. So proud of you. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> and same time and place next week, right? I wouldn't miss it. Okay. Yeah, I can't stand back. Got just enough cash for breakfast. After that, we're broke. Wow, universe, way to kick a guy when he's down. This is a temporary setback. Things will get better. Your father just needs time to cool off. Maybe Joss and Cam will cool off, too. One of the most annoying things about my friends is that I actually care what they think. I have an idea, but I need to have this conversation alone. No worries. I trust you. Just uh, text me if you need backup. You know, I win everyone over in the end. You've won me over. Maybe the three of us can convince the board to give us the necessary funding to back that research project. Yeah, okay, I will, I'll see you soon, thanks, bye. Wheeling and dealing? Good. Do I have a deal for you? Look, I don't...